Everyone, welcome. Happy May, marvelous May. Oh my goodness, you all look so fantastic. Thank you so much for those of you who could hop on video. I know it's not always possible, um, given what's going on in our, our lives and with technology and whatever, but it sure is fun to come together and see all of these amazing people in one place at this time of the month. This is our Humphreys Nation call, and we have so many, many, many exciting things to announce tonight. Uh, so this will be um, you know, primarily an inspirational call. I'm so excited that you guys could hop on and be a part of it. And absolutely, you'll want to keep the recording and of course share it with others on your team who couldn't be a part of the fun tonight. So thank you guys for hopping on. It's truly my pleasure to be your MC tonight. And I get to lead us off with our awesome recognition. Everyone on the call with me knows that we came from a global training conference last month um, in Las Vegas and was it a blow hair back event or what? It was totally, totally awesome. So neat to see our favorites up on stage. So neat to acknowledge Tiffany um, in, our, uh, in our circle of excellence. That was such a special moment for us all to be cheering from the rafters for our Tiffany girl. So I'm so excited and proud for you, sis. You made us look so good. You're a stunner. I loved, loved getting to see you up on the big screen. So many special moments and thank you all for your posts and for tagging me. I promise I will get back to you. I'm a little slow um, as, as you guys have, uh, has a, have observed, but I will definitely get back to you with your beautiful comments. You guys um, make me feel so special. And that is what I love so much about what this team has to offer is that we have something truly truly uh, special, almost untouchable in Arbonne. Tiff and I were talking about that a little bit this morning about how, um, how amazing we can come together as a team and support each other and lift each other up without a feeling of competition. And um, I know that that's something that many other teams in Arbonne seek after and, and that they're trying to capture that culture for themselves. And Deanna Heron has always said that about our team, that we have some amazing magic mo mojo that is not always present among others. So thank you guys for being the light. Um, and, and really positioning um, ourselves as uh, the, the people that we want to emulate in the Arbon culture. I so appreciate that. So our April recognition, this is coming off an awesome month, certainly one of our very tippy top months uh, that we have had in my 10 year, almost 11 year history of Arbon. Our top sponsor for this month was Melissa Montani, sponsoring eight personal uh, $150 per preferred clients or consultants. Congratulations, Melissa. I'm so excited for you. Way to go, sister. And our top district manager, Danielle Suli. Can I say that right? I think I miss it every time, love. But you are so gracious. Um, over 12,000 in her central district, and, she, and Danielle is, and her family are in Pittsburgh. So congratulations to you, Danielle. Way to go. Our top area manager for our nation, Tiffany Spitznagel, over $36,000 of volume, um, and so exciting. The last month, uh, the last week of the month was super, super fun to watch uh, Tiffany and her, and her team's numbers just flip and do somersaults. So that was really, really fun, Tiff. Thanks for letting me be a part of that. And Tiff and her family live in North Huntington, Pennsylvania. Our top regional vice president, Kendall Travers from Pittsburgh, uh, 100 and nearly 114,000 in her central region. Way to go, sister. That is so exciting. What an awesome time. So much fun to be in Arbonne and, um, and just really lifting you guys up. You guys have done phenomenal things um, in the past month, and I know that May is going to be no different. Our district manager bonus achievers, this is an important designation because these folks are not only growing their own business, but they have locked arms with people who are coming into Arbonne and help to teach and train them how to grow a successful business in Arbonne. And so the district manager bonus level is achieved with $5,000 of success line volume um, in, your, in your central district as well as five sponsored, and that could be from anywhere in your central district. So our achievers are Jess Camaro from Greensburg, Brianna Carlson from Orland, California, Alyssa Cavallero, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 
Becky Humphreys, hello. Nikki Marsh, Gibsonia, Pennsylvania. Katie Miller from Cannonsburg. Melissa Montani from Mars. Connie Ruff, Mars, Pennsylvania. Connie Ruff from Medford, Oregon. Danielle Suley from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Tiffany Spitznagel from North Huntington, Pennsylvania. Kendall Travers from Pittsburgh. And Jesse Wagner from Pittsburgh. Congratulations, you guys. That's awesome. Our movers and shakers definitely reaching out to give a hand up. I'm so proud of you guys. And beyond that, area manager bonus achievers. Um, these folks had in their central area, this is one of the business centers that we have when we're area managers, regional vice presidents, or national vice president, our area manager bonus earners had accumulated in their central area 20,000 cumulative volume plus 10 sponsored within their central area. And we had six area manager bonus earners, Rhiannon Carlson, Lynn Carpenter, Alyssa Cavallero, Melissa Montani, Tiffany Spitznagel, and Kendall Travers. Congratulations, you guys. That's awesome. So, so exciting. Way to go. And last but not least, Regional Vice President Bonus Achievers. This comes with 60,000 in your central region, plus 20 sponsored within your central region. And we have three bonus achievers to acknowledge for the month of April, and that's Alyssa Cavallero, Rhiannon Carlson, and Kendall Travers. Congratulations, girls. We're so excited for you. That's awesome. Um, we have so many amazing folks who are in qualification and also who are newly promoted. So it's a treat now. What we'll end up doing is we will um, have our leaders come on the call to do their own respective region recognition. Um, even though we have, um, we're regional vice presidents or national vice president, we have a, a specific region in our business that we, um, that, that we have as, as a part of our personal business. So um, without further ado, I get to acknowledge um, the person on our local team who's in qualification for district manager with $2,500 success line volume or more. And that is Miss Lori Harrison from Sparks, Nevada. And Lori is sponsored by Barb Stein. You saw that dynamic guru heading around um, all around in Las Vegas. And so they really are soul sisters. And I'm so excited that they're able to work this business together. It's one of the greatest, greatest things that could ever happen. So um, congratulations to you, Lori. I'm going to give Rhianna Carlson a moment to unmute her line. I think that she's joining us, maybe even by video. Do we get a Rhianna signing tonight? Do we? Yes, do we? I do. <laughs> oh, I'm here. I see you and I hear you, sister. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Um, so we have in district manager qualification, Lisa Vlatch from Orland, California. Where and then we have four new district managers, Kathy Bartels from Orland, California. We have Mindy Reed from Wheatland, California. Maggie Hagen from Corning, California. And Rachel Aha from Buckeye, Arizona. Good oh, job, girls. Goodness, way to go. And what Rhiannon is um, leaving out of this equation is that these four beauties in Rhiannon's um, central district, she promoted these girls herself. So she has four new district managers direct to her, and they are leading from one of the very best in Arbonne. Congratulations, Rhiannon. I'm so excited for you. This means great things on so many levels, and I'm so tickled that you guys are able to do life together. I love your team. Thank you. You bet. Thank you. Okay, Miss Alyssa, Alyssa's turn. I see she has a headset on. I don't know what that means, if we're going to be able to Talk, see her see, here. I can hear you. <laughs> can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes. Yay. We're, okay. on, we're on dueling headphones. We're on dual headphones. <laughs> we are at Papa J's. We're ready to go. Okay. All right. Go for it, girl. So we have in qualification for district manager, Angela Bailey from Dunbar, PA, and she is sponsored by Angela Jordan. Woo! We have a new district manager. We have Camila DeFelice from Pittsburgh, PA, sponsored by Danielle Scholey. And we also have Rachel Fagan from Butler, PA, sponsored by Jesse Wagner. Awesome. Woo! Woo! And we have a really exciting um, qualification. We have Danielle Scholey, who is our newest area manager. 
Oh, yay! yay! Congratulations, Danielle. So exciting. I'll try and pull up our gallery view so we can cheer you on. There she is. Top left on oh, my nice screen. Her. Congratulations, that? honey. That's so much fun. I love that. Way to go. Way to go, everybody. This is such an exciting month. I love it. Love it. Okay, Kendall, take it away, honey. Oh, I'm ready. Okay, hold on. Okay. So we have in qualification, we have Kelly Grosser from Potsdam PA, sponsored by Melissa Montani. We have Becca Reifenstahl from Potsdam PA, sponsored by Kelly Grosser. We have Gail Love from Pittsburgh, sponsored by Amanda Lemon. Nikki Bodine from Monroeville, Pennsylvania, sponsored by myself. Wendy Wilson from Greensburg, Pennsylvania, sponsored by Tiffany Spitznagel. Those are our awesome. in-qualifications for district. Woo! Way to go, girls. Um, and then we have our new district managers, which we got to see some of them tonight at our meeting. We have Christina Vasilakis from Coriopolis, PA, sponsored by Nikki Marsh. Rachel, oh, you said that. You said that. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm reading from my list. <laughs> Megan Litton from Silver Spring, Maryland, sponsored by myself. Chelsea Chomp from Dormont, PA, sponsored by Jessica Camero. Yay, Chelsea! Chelsea's with us. She's here. <laughs> we have Jenny Guler from Irwin, PA, sponsored by Tiffany Spitznagel. Mm -hmm. Becky Barrett from Ocean City, Maryland, sponsored by Jenny Guler. And Jen Awenowitz from North Huntington, PA, sponsored by Tiffany Spitznagel. Wow. Wow. Awesome. So Woo. exciting. We have one in qualification for area manager. That is Nikki Marsh from Mars, PA, sponsored by <laughs> Melissa Montani. If you said that already, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> and then we also have one brand new regional vice president in Miss Tiffany Spitznagel, who is Yay! the nearest and dearest to my heart, and we are so excited for her. So also, excited. Mel Melissa Montani's team did over halfway to region. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but I wanted to. Yeah, absolutely. No, you should say it. I'm so excited. Congratulations, you guys. This Yay. is such a big deal. And I'm so tickled that Tiff was able to um, agree to speaking on the call tonight. It's very late in the East Coast. I don't know yeah. how girls do it. I swear you just must load up on fizzies, you know, from 6 a.m. A on this first Tuesday of the month. Uh, to get through all of this meeting fun, but it's so special to have you all on and thank you for committing and making such a big presence. So we love it so much. Thanks, Becky. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. So you will be able to hear directly from Tiff in just a little bit. We're so excited. I can't wait to gush on her a little bit more. So congratulations to everyone and your amazing accomplishments. This is uh, this is so much fun to be seeing all of you guys in action and Every, everybody who is building and growing and changing lives, that's what, that's what we're in the business of, of doing, is being life changers. So I'm so proud of each and every one of you. I always love to take a moment to acknowledge and ask for your continued prayers and keep in mind people who are special to our hearts. And this is our extended family from Arbonne. And many of the folks on this list are, have fought through cancer, are on the other side of it, and are cancer survivors. But please keep these people in your prayers. Debbie Kubik, that's Rhiannon's mom. Dan Carpenter Sr., that's Millie's husband. Lynn's father-in-law and Sarah's dad. Justin Pierce, Jenny Pierce's husband. Mike West and Connie West, those are Carly West's, um, Carly Kinney's um, parents and our sideline sister Shayna Grossclose who's doing quite well. She had stage three or beyond cancer and she was a GTC um, as a new area manager. So we're so excited for that update for Shayna. And of course, Sarah Hines Wilson in Arkansas um, with um, her continued remission with breast cancer. And last but not least, our sweet Kaylee Jordan. She is surviving and thriving after a very scary um, incident last fall. She had to undergo surgery to remove a benign mass in her abdomen and she's doing really well still. So that's Angela Jordan's daughter, Kaylee. So um, thank you all for keeping them in your prayers. I will um, touch base on a few announcements, uh, but 
I want to get to the exciting stuff, uh, but there are some amazing things that have happened as we've rolled off of Global Training Conference. So um, first of four announcements, GTC Challenge. Ashley and Kay always reach out to us and issue a challenge. And this is not just for those of us who were able to attend GTC. Any one of us can step into this challenge and receive a beautiful, gorgeous um, bracelet that is a uh, part of the incentive for, the, for this challenge. We have the whole entire month of May. I love May because it seems like an exceedingly long month for whatever reason. I don't know why that is. There's 31 days there, but it seems like we have so much time to make things happen. But when you sponsor three new preferred clients or independent consultants, one of those does have to be an independent consultant with a starting order of 250 QV, um, it, or if they achieve 250 QV or more in their start month, um, you're going to get this beautiful bracelet in one of your shipments in June. So it's um, it's truly a great challenge. I love how they put that forward to us. And that is so achievable for every single one of us to sponsor three. Announcement number two, our Arbon incentive trip. Um, that is to Riviera Maya Cancun in October. May is the final month of qualification. Um, so I'm cheering you girls on, go, go, go. It's so exciting to see um, everyone really pushing for um, their goals. Already we have several earners, and I apologize if I have missed you on this list, but our level two earners, Jesse Wagner, Kendall Travers, Melissa Montani, our level three earner, Alyssa Cavallero, our level four earner, Tiffany Spitznagel, and our level five achiever, Rihanna Carlson. Congratulations, you guys. And you still have a whole month to rock it out, right? Um, so if, if I've missed anybody or if I have that incorrect, please don't hesitate to message me so I can update um, our recognition accordingly. But so excited that you'll be able to treat your families to a beautiful vacation. Rhiannon joked with me a little earlier and she's like, yeah, I think I'll just tie the kids somewhere on the beach so that Clay and I can enjoy some cocktails. I'm like, that's a great plan. Send me pictures. I will live vicariously through you. It's so exciting. So congratulations, you guys. I'm so tickled for you. Announcement number three. You all are fully aware, I'm sure, but um, it's a treat to be able to say that we are going into yet another country in Arbonne next year in 2018. We will be launching into Germany. How exciting is that? That is incredible for so many levels. Um, and, you know, Kay and Joe Wosick, everybody did a great job of explaining why Germany was the great next strategic country for Arbonne to roll into. Um, and what we're also excited is that I know so many of you have personal connections or know friends or family, um, even if indirectly, that are in Germany. Um, so if you do have friends or family personally in Germany, please let your VP know so that we can connect you to the home office and get you connected to those folks who are in charge of international expansion. They're gonna wanna know who you are. And also tomorrow coming out on the tip of the week from BEST, they're going to touch on how to build compliant relationships with German contacts here in the United States or in Canada or in any one of our active countries, as well as um, to how to build those contacts compliantly in Germany. In other words, one thing that we saw, unfortunately, when we entered New Zealand um, in June of last year is that our one consultants were spamming New Zealand, um, New Zealand residents and um, and, and just not going about that in a very proper way. So there is a great way to do it and the Arbonne way to do it. Of course, I'm preaching to the choir here, you guys, but, um, but it's definitely something that you want to educate yourself so that you can be mindful of the right way to build your Arbon business so that you're not in violation of that, but also to be mindful of the German culture. They tend to be, um, well, I'm German, uh, very private, stoic, you know, um, not, uh, we, you know, they just, they, they just, prefer professionalism. Um, and so, so that's really, really important that we uphold that um, at all costs as we go into Germany. So tip of the week tomorrow from Beth. So look forward to that. And finally, I'm growing to 1 billion and beyond. I know that has been such a focus for Kay and her leadership team at the home office. And they definitely touched on that at the global training conference this, um, this, this past month. 
What I'm excited about is that DSA has just released their top 100, their global 100 um, revenue growth companies for, for this past year, ending in 2016, and Arvon is number 38, which is awesome. Um, reviewing the list of those competitors who are maybe a few steps above us, a few of those names kind of got under my skin, and I say that with pun intended, because we're way, way, way better than them in our product formulations, in our consultant base, in our home office, everything about our urban culture. Um, so Kay and the home office have given us all the tools to be the best social marketing and network marketing company in the world. We may not be the biggest. I don't know if we necessarily want to be the biggest, but we will certainly be the best. And the momentum behind this product launch that we just came off of in April um, is just evidence. It's further evidence that we're on fire. So Kay has challenged us to help grow our bond to over a $1 billion company. And I really feel like we have to hold up our end of the bargain, and we've totally got this. So here's a little illustration that I thought might be helpful to show the power of what we're capable of. Um, if in our team, um, if each, if we each stepped out in faith and asked one person per day to take a look at what Arbonne has to offer, even taking one day off a week, so I'm talking about six people per week, we would be personally connecting with 315 new people in one year. And the statistics show that one in three people will join your business in some fashion. They may not be business builders, but they might be a preferred client, or they might say yes to hosting for you, or they may be a business builder. So one in three people, if we reach out over the course of the whole year to 315 people, that means that we would personally have 105 new Arbonne affiliations in our personal business in one year. If they order once, let's say that they place a $150 order, that would be in revenue for Arbonne and for your business, of course, $15,750. If those 105 people order three times in the year, that's gonna be $47,250 in revenue. If they order six times within a year, that's $94,500 in revenue. Now, if we think about this, if we multiply this number, just a simple equation by the number of active consultants worldwide, there's 268,100 active consultants. That means that they've received a commission check from Arbonne within the year 2016. Remember, we're looking for the $1 billion mark here, right? So 268,100 consultants times getting one order, one 150 order for the year if they have 100 new clients within a year. So 268,100, I know this is a lot of math late, times 15,750 equals Drum roll, four billion, two hundred and twenty-two million five hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. You guys, this is not hype. This is math. Now, you business minds on the call with me know that not all of that four billion is counted in a company's revenue generation. About twenty-five percent of the gross receipts—that's a conservative estimate of the company's revenue after paying the urban employees at the home office, paying commissions and override to us paying um, to make the products, the ingredients and the materials to make the products, paying for research and development. But still, if we took 25% of that over 4 billion number, that would be an increase in one year of over $1 billion in revenue. We've got this. And you'll see on that DSA page, if you go to that DSA global page, Many of the companies that are in the top 10 are 1 billion in revenue companies. We have totally got this. Um, so each and every one of you on the call tonight, you wouldn't be here if you weren't a life changer. You would not be participating with me tonight if you weren't. So, but you may be sitting here thinking, why me? Why me? For those of you who were privileged to hear John O'Leary um, at Global Training Conference, he asked that question of us, didn't he? He said, why me? But I say, why not you? Why, why should you not have a global business in Arbonne? Why should you not be helping men and women stay home to be with their families or to help them have choice? Why would you not help people do more, be more, give more? Why not you? So this, we have this in the bag. We can totally blow Kay's hair back. And I am so excited that I get to do it with my Arbonne family, which is each and every one of you. 
we are so blessed that we have been able to connect with each other because we have something so special. And to really take that point home, it is my honor to um, introduce Tiff. Tiff, I'm going to do my best not to make you cry, sister, because this has been an emotional, exciting rock and roll month, um, even in the, into the weekend, even after a promotion. So it's just, um, you know, really, I, I was thinking about a couple of things on my heart today after Tiff and I um, talked this morning. And, you know, she's, she's one of the most talented people I've ever seen ever, ever met. I learned so much from her in terms of how she approaches things. Um, she is pragmatic, but she is also amazing with how well she knows where her vision needs to be for herself, but she also sees a vision for people on her team. She's very intelligent. She's fun. She is fabulously dressed. Oh my gosh, if you saw her dress at GTC, well, I'm sure you guys have seen all of the amazing posts. Um, she just, she just edifies classiness. Um, her character is one to be absolutely cherished. Um, I'm not going to say to be jealous of because we do not compare in our bud, but her character is one to be absolutely cherished. And it is, it's an honor for me to be able to see, say that she is my sister. Um, I love her so much and it is going to be so much stinking fun to come out and be able to shower you with gifts, honey, and shower your team and be able to love on you guys. I'm just so excited for everything that has come forward. And I know that all of us right now on the call are leaning in because we're like, okay, Tiff clearly has this magic mojo. She knows the secret. She knows, she knows what it takes. She knows how to get there. Um, you know, not, no pressure, no pressure. But what I'm so excited about is that you're going to really through talking about your experience and your journey with getting to this point in Arbonne, that you're going to help give clarity and, um, and really be able to, to reveal what it takes to build a business to regional vice president level and beyond in Arbonne. So it's my honor. I am so full of joy for this moment that I get to announce Tiffany Spitznagel, new regional vice president in Arbonne, Big shout out from all of y'all. Yay! It's so excited. Hey, you're so excited. All right, hey, I'm going to unmute you and give you a moment to kind of compose yourself. But um, many of you know that, um, and, and you love Tiff's family, her husband, Adam, and her beautiful daughters, Brooke and Lexi. And I hope, I'm sure that Tiff has a few quips from the daughters in there, um, if not Adam, because they're so stinking cute. So let me get to our speaker view, honey, so I can have you take it away. I love you so much. I good? Can you guys hear me? I can hear you, and I see you. You look gorgeous, honey, gorgeous always. Thank you so much. My gosh, I was getting all teary eyed. I knew that was going to happen, but I contained myself. <laughs> so thank you so much for your kind words. I really appreciate that. So yeah, Becky asked me to talk about my journey and um, I just kind of want to start out with my why and I came up with six pages of notes. So um, hopefully you guys take away something from what I have to share. Um, so just a little bit about my journey, my why. Um, I was introduced to Arbonne almost seven years ago. Um, my mom's neighbor had a gathering and I went and um, I you know, just went to be with her and hang out and never expected anything more to come of that. But um, I, t I tried two products. I tried our um, RE9 eye cream and a product that we don't have anymore, um, Revlage to save, um, you know, some skin discoloration when I was pregnant. And I fell in love with the products. At the time I was working in mental health, I was connecting kids and family um, with services um, here in Pittsburgh at a hospital, a mental health, mental health hospital downtown. And, you know, I liked helping people. And, you know, when we go through life, we never think, oh, yeah, I'm going to sell skincare or health wellness products or, you know, that's not, wasn't even on my radar in college. And, um, you know, I was asked to take a look at the business by um, 
someone who I wasn't direct to Kendall, you know, originally, um, someone else. And I jumped in and, um, you know, when I started, um, I was excited about getting the discount for the products and, you know, I realized it would be a way to stay at home with my girls. Um, and to be honest with you, and I'm going to talk a little bit about this kind of jumping ahead, but I never ever had the confidence to say that I could be a regional vice president or a national vice president. And for me, that was a huge growth thing that I had to work through. But, um, you know, when I started, that wasn't my goal. Um, my vision grew for wanting to help other people. And, you know, my why now is that I want my husband around more. He's a CPA. He works long hours. There's things that he misses. He was gone in January pretty much every week, except he came home early um, one Friday because he got bit by bed bugs. But um, he was only home on the weekends. And, you know, I want him around more. I see other people living a life of you know, time freedom. And that's what I want for our family. So, um, that's what drives me to help other people, um, you know, change their lives. Um, because in turn, I know that you can get to that point, um, someday soon. So, you know, Becky asked me to share a little bit about my journey to region and it's hard to think back over almost eight years, you know, the things that you've been through. Um, I will say that I did take the slow path. Um, I, you know, promoted to district pretty quickly. It was in the first month, I believe. Um, and, you know, I kind of sat there for a while. I was a district. It was a team of one doing the do um, until I found my first business builder. And, um, you know, like I said before, confidence was a huge thing for me. It was always a thing in my life that I – knew I could be better at. Um, so for me to say, yeah, you know, I'm, I wanna, I'm gonna be a regional vice president or a national vice president, there was no way because I looked at regional vice presidents and national vice presidents, like they sat on this pedestal and they maybe had more time in their day than I did or there were, you know, was something that they knew that I didn't. So that wasn't initially on my radar. Um, you know, when I started, I would say um, Adam wasn't necessarily as supportive as I would have liked him to be. Um, and it really wasn't um, until we went to Kendall's car presentation, she had a DM, uh, a dinner for DMs and above prior to her car presentation that he saw the bigger picture of what Arbonne could do for our family. And I, I feel like that was like the turning point, um, you know, in having him on board with me. Um, you know, when I first started my business, I rode the emotional roller coaster like no other. You know, I would have a month full of activity and I would be on the top of the world. And then I would have the next month and I'd have no activity and I would be like all flustered and stressed out and, you know, at the bottom of the roller coaster hill. So that was something that has really changed over my journey. Um, you know, I continued to work my personal business. People would come in and out of my business as we know, right? Um, and, you know, about three years after, I believe it was three years after being in district, we promoted to area. Um, we were a strong, solid area for quite a while. You know, I like to stay at a level for a while, right? I'm on the slow path, I told you guys. And, um, you know, we sat at area for a while. And there were some people in the Bahamas that I really wanted to, um, to talk to. And um, there was an MVP that I talked to when we were at the beach the one day. And I was like, you know, so what's the gold nugget? What do I need to know? I want to get to region. I want our team to grow. Like, what, what am I missing? And she laughed at me when I told her that we were bonusing area for like three years. She's like, really? <laughs> um, and by the way, guys, there's no golden nugget, I promise. And I'm going to touch more on that in a minute. But um, so I really, I sought out Tara Bransma because her story speaks so much to our story. Granted, I wasn't a CFO or a CEO or a CPA or any of the above. Um, but, you know, my husband is. And they were both CPAs. Um, I believe Bill was a CFO or a CEO. And she was able to retire her husband a couple of years ago. And so I found her in the Bahamas and I talked to her and um, that was super helpful because I felt like that could be my family, especially when she was on stage at GTC. That was pretty powerful for me. Um, um, when I wasn't getting what I wanted in my business fast enough, you know, we start to question ourselves. you know, what can we change? What can we do better? People are dropping off. Why? Right. And 
like I said before, guys, there is no golden nugget. There is nothing that your upline isn't telling you. There's no secrets. If you are following the system, you and coaching people to do the same thing, you are absolutely going to get to where you want to go. Um, but I was always like, oh, is there something I'm missing? And really, there's not, I promise you. Um, so, you know, there are things that held me back. So I thought about this today. I overthink everything. Um, and when people were dropping off, I was like, you know, what can I do better as a leader to support these people? And I probably complicated things way too much, way harder than it needed to be. I mean, I was following the system, but just knowing that you're enough, right? Knowing that if you're following the system and you're teaching and training others to do the same thing, you're doing it guys, right? So I know it's easier said than done because this is very much a personal growth journey, but, um, you know, one of the really big things is that I'm a very realistic and logical thinker. And when you have a husband that's a successful CPA, that might not play well on your side. So one of the biggest things that held me back from growing our team in the region was, you know, we were consistently doing a certain volume. And Adam would be like, well, Tiff, you know, if you have the same amount of people, then how are you going to get to, you know, the volume that you need to go into qualification? And I got it. Like I was on the same page with him and I felt like that really, you know, held me back for quite a long time. And even, you know, we went into qualification and he's like, well, how are you going to do 16,000 more the next month? So just that kind of, um, I feel like this is a leap of faith and I feel like I would say that, but you know, the logistical side of how I function, um, you know, held me back for a while. Um, so, and one thing I can tell you is that growth in an Arbonne business is not like growth in, you know, the typical business world, I should say. Um, you know, I told Adam in March that this was it. We were doing it. There was no back door. You know, we got into qualification. We had been close in November, but, um, it was happening no matter what. Um, so that was one thing that, you know, just, I had been telling him for a long time. Um, but I asked him to support and trust me because what I do in Arbonne, helping other people makes me happy. And not that he didn't support me before, but I was, you know, I had been saying, oh, we're, we're really close. We're really close. But I had been saying that for a while. Um, you know, I made that decision. I got others on board. I told my mom and her fiance, Tom. I was like, I'm going to be busy. I need you to help me with the girls. My mother-in-law helped me. Adam helped me. And I was uncomfortably busy. Um, you know, I'm a ducks in a row kind of girl. And I've given up on that to some extent. But I struggled with balance in my business. Meaning I was, um, you know, maybe a little uncomfortable being super busy. But then when I wasn't busy, I was like, no, oh, I don't have anything on my calendar. So, you know, I had to work through that. Um, I can tell you that being busy or, um, well, we talked about busyness at GTC, but, um, having a full calendar, I should word it like that, um, is way better and feels better than not having anything on your calendar. So, and I, I've, I've learned in my business and in life that there's not going to be that balance where you're going to have the perfect calendar with your business and you're going to have the perfect calendar with your family. It's always going to be off a little bit, but I grew to appreciate that. Um, so the things that helped us grow. So I work really hard on myself. I listen to Joel Osteen a lot in the car and I feel like I can really relate to what he has to say. I listen to him. I haven't been in my car much recently, but I listen to him on the way to our meeting going tonight and on the way home. And I listen to him on the way to the gym because I can't always sit down and read. So that's really been, I've really been able to relate to his message and relate it to my Arbonne business. Um, I was intentional. I was really on purpose with finding people who wanted to make changes in their lives and getting them to where they want to go. Because that is the most rewarding thing in this business is helping other people get what they want in their life. Um, I wrote down goals. So, you know, I always had in my head like, oh, I want to do this or I want to do that. But in the recent years of my business, I really started writing down my goals. Um, I sit at my island and work every day and it drives Adam crazy, but it works for now while Lexi's not in school full day. And on my follow-up box that I look at, you know, every day I had to post it and our region goal was to finish by five o'clock the night before the day before close, right? We finished at 11 o'clock PM. And 
so I don't know if you guys can see my post-it. Um, and just something else that was behind my post-it were my 2017 goals, and I was looking at them, and one of them was to earn um, AIT level four this year, um, promote two areas, um, you know, just build strong leaders. So really writing down goals is super important. You can have them in your head, but there is something powerful about writing those down. And you guys can ask Emily. She was my bed buddy in GTC, and I brought this post-it with me. I had it on the mirror in our room, and I was like, I need to stare at that every day because this is happening. Um, so writing down goals is super important, and just really keeping them in front of you and knowing what you want. Um, I broke down my walls and I worked hard for a couple of months being uncomfortable, but I was consistent. And I feel like that really paid off with, with helping others and growing our team. Um, like I said, I talked to Tara Bransma when we were in the Bahamas. I could really relate to her story. Um, you know, corporate America scares me now. Like we have all these vacations planned and, you know, Adam has to think about his boss and I don't have to think about a boss cause I'm my boss. So, um, you know, just really focusing on my why, um, and realizing how important that really is to our family. Um, like I said, the whole emotional roller coaster thing, I turn, I turn that into being grateful. Not that I wasn't grateful before, but when I, um, you know, had an event that canceled or a district manager that I would get in qualification that would quit, I would get upset. And now I look at that as a blessing. And actually, Joel was talking about that on the way to the meeting tonight. So it was perfect. It was meant to be said. Um, you know, the last week um, when we were at GTC, literally, I turned my phone on and my neighbor canceled a party on me. Um, I had someone else cancel. I had events every night when we got, you know, when we got home from GTC and I had three things cancel and I looked at those as blessings. I'm like, oh, we're going to have time to call people then. And so I just look at things differently. I've seen, you know, things cancel and a business builder come into my business. So I look at those things as blessings. They always say rejection is God's protection. And I really feel like when things cancel or things change, something better comes along. So I really look at it like that and not like, oh my gosh, another person canceled a party because guys, we know what's going to happen, right? Um, letting go, go of some of the control. Um, I guess I realized I like control a little bit more than I wanted to admit. Um, so I just focused on my personal activity. So much of being an area, a region, and a nation is not within our control at all. You can be a district and be a team of one and be a successful district manager. But as you start to promote through, you know, a lot of it isn't in your control. And the more people you have, you know, it's not within our control. So I really just focused on, you know, booking my personal activity and putting trust that it was our time and that, you know, focusing on um, helping the leaders on our team was going to get us to where we wanted to go. Um, you know, I've heard numerous times that really just stepping out in faith when you can't see that staircase kind of thing. I forget the official saying, but um, that's really what we, what I had to do. Um, and I just really started to try and be the most positive person that I could be. When I started my Arbonne business, I, don't, I mean, I was positive, but I don't think I was super positive. And, you know, allow this business to change you because you will come out of the other side and you're not going to be the same person that you are when you start your business. So I just really try to be the most positive person I can and um, allow the blessings to come into my life and just appreciate them. Um, you know, Kendall and Becky told me all along my journey um, about making the decision, make the decision and everything falls into place. And I thought prior, I made the decision and it's not happening. But you know, this time there was something different. Um, I made the decision and I had a no matter what attitude, if I would have had to have bought $10,000 worth of sticks at the end of the month, I absolutely would have, which we didn't need to do that. But, um, you know, I got back from GTC and, you know, we had a certain amount of, you know, volume left to do in the month. And even Adam was like, are you sure you're going to do that? And I was like, yes. And I forget, he had said something to me that was so funny. I had texted Ken on a can't remember what it was now, but I was like, yes, we're doing it. Like, don't ask me or else I'm not telling you my numbers anymore. <laughs> so, um, you know, I was like, there's no back door and we're doing this. And now I know what deciding really meant because I, I'm seeing the after effects of like, we're doing this no matter what. Um, 
And like I said, writing down that goal, we finished at 11 o'clock that evening. Um, my biggest advice is do the do when no one is watching. You know, it's easy when we're our own boss to take a day off or, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Um, I'm not saying we can't take days off and not spend time with our family, but you know, there's sacrifice that comes with this. Um, you know, I missed my kids first softball game Friday night. Um, I missed a family um, bridal shower that my mom gave me a hard time about in Ohio. And I'm like, listen, it's okay. Um, you know, so there's going to be sacrifices that come along, but you know, when you think about the long-term gain, it's so worth it guys. It is so worth it. So, um, you know, put out in the universe what you want and it comes back to you. Um, I heard one time, I think it was from a national vice president and I don't even remember who it was, but they said, are you a life breather or a life sucker? So really just focus on breathing life into people. Um, it, just is an amazing thing when you do that. So um, I just want to give a shout out to my team. Um, it's been such an amazing journey, um, you know, having leaders rise up. Um, the growth that we're seeing on our team is amazing. It's been so much fun to watch people's lives change. Um, so thank you for everyone who's trusted me on this journey because it's been super humbling. And I don't think I've cried as much as I've cried the past two months. Um, and I want to thank Kendall and Becky because you guys have believed in me since day one when I didn't believe in myself. Um, and you could see my greatness when I couldn't see it. So I thank you so much. Um, wait, I think I have something else to say. Um, so I just want to leave you with a little quote um, that you guys are enough and expect great things and they will absolutely happen to you. So thank you. Gosh, honey. Tiff, that was absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness, you are amazing, amazing at how you deliver a message. Wow, talk about Joel Osteen. Um, you might have your own like uh, podcast channel sort of thing going on. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so good. I'm gonna have to remember that. I'm gonna have to remember that. That was absolutely beautiful. And I love so much how you had so much of your heart and your soul into it. And I know that for you, that's not a necessarily comfortable place to live, being vulnerable, you know, like really like bearing your soul and putting it out there. But um, I saw that in just beautiful, amazing ways in your training. Thank you so much for sharing your story and, and you know, and your heart with us tonight. And I am just so blown away by your success and your incredible team. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun this summer celebrating you girls. That was awesome. Totally, totally awesome and powerful. I love it. Um, I am asking, <laughs> Kendall's phone died. <laughs> and, and we have one other special acknowledgement before we can wrap up this rodeo tonight. Um, but uh, let me see if, if I can get her on so that we can give her a little love. Tip, if you have, you already shared a couple words about Kendall, but I would love for you to share a little bit. I'll give you a moment to think about that. Um, So you want me to share words about Kendall? Yes, in a moment. She's not on yet. She's trying to, oh, oh, wait, wait. Wait, I'm here. Can you see me? <laughs> you just got home and your poor phone died. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it died at the restaurant. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, honey, it's no problem. No problem. Um, I, I, perfect timing. Perfect Kendall yellow fun girl entrance. That was, that was excellent. I was going to have Tiff share a couple of things about you before I share a couple of, about, of things about you, honey. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Tiff, take it away. Oh, my. <laughs> You're putting me on the spot. Kendall, I, I love you so much. So... It's just been a blessing to watch you on your journey. Um, like I said before, I wasn't direct to Kendall and it's a huge blessing that I am. And I knew from day one that you were absolutely going to make it to the top of this company. Um, you're an amazing leader. You do the do. Um, you do the do when no one's watching. And I'm just so blessed to be able to have you as my sponsor. Um, but just really watch you grow in your journey. I know you were teasing me tonight at the meeting. Um, you know, we all make each other better. And, you know, there's things that you do that I try to be better at and vice versa. And I'm just so proud of you and so proud of our team. And 
you know, we're just rallying around you because I know we're going to finish this month without a doubt in my mind. So the back door shut and yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm so proud of you and you're deserving of every award that comes your way. And I don't, did you hear me talk at the end when I thanked you? No, I'm, we literally just got home and I had to grab an extra charger for my phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so on a personal note, what I said before is just that um, I just thank you and Becky so much for believing in me when I didn't believe in myself, so, um, so yeah. Hey, just... you're so welcome. You guys are the best. <laughs> I'm so proud of you and your team. If, if, if you, if you all have Hi, Becky, it's, you know. If, if you haven't already surmised, I brought Kendall back on despite her phone dying uh, because she is in qualification for Nation. And Woo! National Vice President effective June 1st. And it's really, I was giggling tip when you were saying that you knew from day one that Kendall was going to be a National Vice President because this was the girl who showed up to TIFF's sponsors presentations with Deanna Heron in tow. Uh -huh. And Deanna's like, um, where's, where's my class cards? Where, you know, where, and, and mm, mm, no, no class cards. I mean, Kendall had that thought, but they just didn't make it into the bag. But that wasn't Kendall's fault. Was that it? wasn't my fault. No, it <laughs> that was not. hers. It was but you're right. We didn't have a bonus pack and that should have been you know, somebody more prepared would have had that. <laughs> I was not that person. Oh, Kendall is always turning lemon situations into lemonade. Like the time that she slipped on the ice and tore holes in both sides <laughs> of her neck. She was bleeding and going into an Arbonne presentation. And, uh, and she's like, oh, I'm just going to roll in like I'm sitting friend and god love her she does everywhere she goes um <laughs> she just makes the best out of any situation it is her positive spirit and energy um we have benefited so much from your precious mind your heart your wisdom kendall and most of all your fun spirit thank mm -hmm. you for believing in all of us you are still one of my favorite mentors and gurus one of the most impactful inspirational people i've ever so we're all cheering you on. The whole countries are coming together. <laughs> behind you, you have the force. May the thank force you is with you. With the force is thank you so much. So we're so excited and and so impressed with um, your qualification. So on that note, I love you all so much. Thank you for ah. your late evening with me. Thank you for um, loving on one another. That is what I love so much about our team is that we really cherish and, um, and hold each other tight. And um, not, well, certainly not many corporations would do that. And not many other teams have that type of spirit and energy and love behind them. And so um, that is why you guys are all going to the tippy top right along with Kendall and Tiff and all y'all. I'm so proud of you guys. I love you. Thank you so much. Here's to an awesome May. Marvelous May. Yay. <laughs> Thanks, Becky. We love you. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Becky.